used to be advanced mathematicians Great minds stop were mapping positions Using the scores and the planets and systems New range and the passages in it was synchronized to a max of precision Signifying understanding and wisdom And nowadays we're in the rabid condition Snipping lines, drinking, battling addiction Symbol lawyers for a scrap of tradition Yo, what's up? This is your boy Graciano Major. This is MTI TV, and we're chilling today with a little dialect today here. Story Palais. Nice to meet you, pal. You too, bro. <laughs> All right, we got a few questions for a little dialect. You know what I mean? So the first question is uh, the album 1988. What makes this album better than the rest, and what's the difference between the rest? Man, it's different producer. Different producer. Who's the yeah. producers on this? The producer of the Jamos album, Jack Moon J. Cool. He's the main man of the the last two albums. <coughs> So it's just a different sound because it's a different producer, you know what I mean? Cool, cool, cool. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's not going to be too different. Like It's not going to be uh, some extravagantly different than to what I was already doing. But obviously, if it's a different producer, it's going to be a different, different sound. sound yeah. Yeah. Any features? Who's the features on this album? Oh, I can't say. Yeah, probably, Ooh, when is that? When is that? Uh, looking at April. April, April, April. April release. Make sure you go and cop that now. Early summer. But Very good. Don't say anything about the features yet because it's still being sorted out at the minute. Yeah. You're definitely going to nice hear Custy, GI, nice. and that too. Oh, okay. damn. And nice features on it as well. Good stuff. Good stuff. With the boys. <coughs> good man. Alright, we all know that you've been doing a little bit of acting lately. Yeah. The, the Carbart Gangster. Tell me, what's this all about? What's this film going to be about? And what's your character in that movie? My character in it, Glenn, is. More or less, Jay's best mate, Jay is played by John Connors. Okay. Um, and it's his gang, it's based around his gang and Darren, they have four best friends. Um, Jay, Glenna, Dano and Jerry. Oh sorry, no Jay, Glenna, yeah, yeah, that's right, yeah. Jay, Glenna, Dano and Jerry. And uh, it's more or less, they, they all have the different type of personalities, they all have the different uh, motivations. Mm. Um, I won't get too much into it, but my character is more or less borderline schizophrenic almost because not, not even schizophrenic, sort of a sociopath because if the boys say them, we chill and we have a few splits, you'll okay. say, yeah, that's cool, but the boys say, every bunch of house and do, do something goody tonight and be like, yeah, that's cool as well, you know okay. what I mean? So you saw that just one of them characters that just goes with the flow and does whatever the rest of the boys do. And, I was scared to be slightly more apprehensive towards it. He wants to get out of that lifestyle and Dana wants to get into it. So okay. it's nice. Any days that was that shopping? Um, the promo video will be out in the next few, in the next few months. And it's officially what is officially? Not even the next few months, the next few weeks actually. December 20th in, in the cellar in Donna Mead. It's going to be screened. It'll be a very big game. Oh, well. Make sure you go and watch that movie like that because I'm definitely going to be there stone and shit. Anyway, all right. Well, she and Charles will now chat with it. <coughs> all right, dude. Uh, the next question, um, we know that you supported Ma Maverick Cyber and like, and what was the experience of that? What was your highlight of that game? Who was it? Maverick, yeah. Maverick, Maverick. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, man, Maverick was good skins, you know what I mean? Yeah. Maverick started off. Think collaborations like, between those two. I'm saying that. Uh, ah, we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens, we'll see what happens. Yeah, I would love to see that, dude. that would be nice. Yeah. Yeah. Look like, no? yeah, we started off together, you know. We yeah. just, a lot of people don't know he started off as a Back in Irish Hip Hop, he was a. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what he was. He started to sing and he used to sing his hooks on that. He was a rapper for us. Yeah. Shout out to Mario Saber doing that. Shout out to Mario Saber, yeah. Cool, no problem. All right. Well, yeah, the gig was good, yeah. The gig was good. Did it with the boys. Yeah. Good life. Good few, stuff. A few tables after it, as you do. Good man. Good man. That's it. Night, yeah. that's it. That's it. Very good. Very good. All right, the next question is uh, you know that you are rapper slash MC, hip hop head. And you know, there's always like people like, you know, to the point like when you make it, people will ask you, will you ever do any commercial tunes just to get yourself out there to chats or whatever, whatever yeah. that destination is. Would you go commercial? Yeah. Would you ever depends. go commercial? It depends. Like, you can be commercial. You can make <coughs> track star radio for any without them being cornball tracks. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, well, I'm working on a few tracks at the minute. And <laughs> with people, and it's going to be, it's going to be, it's going to be more than one, uh, it's gonna be borderline radio friendly. Mm. But it doesn't have to be sort of cheesy. Or so you got so you got commercial stuff coming up. Sort of. I wouldn't call it like commercial <coughs> is the wrong word to use, but definitely more accessible stuff like the, the EP that me and you were working on that time, Nostalgic Future, is is radio friendly songs. You know what I mean? But it's not it's not sort of cheesy like the rest. 
the majority of the rest of the stuff on the radio. So it's about finding that balance as well. You sort of have to uh, try not to. I mean, if I come out and do the in, in out and out radio for any tune tomorrow, I'll be slated for it. You know? I don't want to do it myself anyway, but you just have to find a you have to find a balance and keep your own style still, yeah. not not sort of conform, you know. Oh, interesting. All right, cool. Um, what do you think of the Irish hip hop scene happening right now in 2012? Who do you think is actually putting the work in and deserves the credit, but who doesn't get the credit as he should be? Yeah, all these boys, all the boys that all the boys that shit with. Funny story actually, I just like I was listening to Jambo's album today. I've been keep hearing about his name, like you know the album is six six six. I actually went in today and just had to listen to the to the album and I'm gonna tell you one thing man, hashtag epic. Yeah, epic, epic. The up. intro is epic, dude. Yeah. The intro just made me listen to the rest, you know. It is. It's a Bible. So it's it's a classic, like an army. And it's a, uh, it's a, yeah. It's not. There, there's a few of them. There's actually there's a good few wax out there that are <laughs> thing making it happen. And everyone's out the house around different thing, you know. Which yeah. is good. That's it. That's it. Everyone's moving forward individually. So then. <clears throat> Whether they want it or not, the whole team is going to move forward as well. Definitely. definitely, we all need to push forward to make this happen. Yeah, and shout out to all the young boys as well. Definitely. Did Egan Friday and Barry Monk. Yeah. With all the young guys, all the young <coughs> ones coming up and some serious lyricists out there. Yeah, the they're the the coming up. <laughs> yeah, definitely. They're the new generation. Any, any, yeah. Speaking of that, actually, any any advice for the up coming artists? Like, yeah, just put, just put the work in. That's what it's about, you know? You have to just. Uh, Take your time, develop your craft, and then uh, once once it's good to go, you know, don't lose it. Because uh, a lot of young fellas are eager just yeah. to get the stuff out there and they're throwing it out a little bit too early, you know. You have to, you have to sit in them for a while and make sure it's as good as it's going to be, because then if you don't, you'll only end up looking back in a year or two and regretting uh, ever releasing the tunes you did, because we all learn our lessons. The progress, you know, so yeah, it. just take your time with it, and then when it's good to go. Cool. Drop it and then there'll be no regrets with her and that you're doing in the future and you won't be looking back and comparing it to that day. Yeah, definitely. Wise words. Wise words from little Dyla right here. And anyway, we want to wrap it up now. Um, you want to give any shout outs and any dates of any projects that you got? Yeah, yeah. I can't shout out all the lads. Yeah, he's all over the news. I'm going shout out all the lads that we heard all day. Uh -huh. For, uh, all the boys know who we are. Uh, 1988. Let them know, let them know about the album. Looking at April, April, April release day. Early summer, yeah. uh, Carball Gangs is probably be next winter, and uh, a few little things lined up as well. That's just still in the process, but <coughs> you'll be hearing from it at the Twitter, at the Facebook, all that. Make sure you go and check that out. Listen, pal, man, it was a pleasure to interview, man. Yeah. Cheers, man, for having me. No doubt, man. This is NTI TV. Stay locked into the next episode. Pa! Yeah, this is MTOA TV. This is LD. is fucking F64. Check it out. I have a bottle of the potent lush, like I'm bottling emotions up, and that bottle doesn't open much. I blame the notion of a loaf on my sluts, cause see I opened it before and it resulted in broken trust. It wasn't no, we were both in lust, stuck in a moment of poor hope in us. Yeah, bro, you'll keep me scrotin' tuck Cause if you think with your dick, then you already know you're fucked That's the slogan, cause when it comes to quotes and stuff If they're not the truest words ever spoken, like close enough See me smoking kush, see me strolling where the coast and the ocean touch When I feel like zoning from the commotion For a moment, frozen in slow motion, look I don't mean to be boasting, but If you rub shoulders with us, you best believe you hear the stroke of look See, I know what I met her for It was a message or some sort the metaphor, I'm winning me some things I best left ignored But before she let the door hit her on the way out I had to settle a score and tell her about my repertoire I had my name say tattered on my flesh before rap So I had no choice but to be pressing forward Toward the destiny that me and the boys were all destined for See me and them have a special rapport Cause I can count on one hand all the friends I can count on On one hand of less than four But on the other hand less is more Associated with many befriended by few cause I'm from where broken trust is forevermore 
Oh, from where the bank account is a dresser draw. You can hear it in my voice when I press record. And be smiled on these beats till my chest is sore. She was a foisty dame. I played a shoisty game. Scared of kicking her to the cold in case I got my noiggy stain. She was picture perfect. She was nicely framed. I'm slightly shamed to say. Always thinking she was wifey. But time is pricey. That's what we refrain from letting the boy me. I saw the change of soiggy can. Let me try explain. I'm an 80s baby living in the old splash tank. I'm with a 90s brain favorite for them lost boys who used to want to be Mikey with a cold tire pump and cold blood in the icy veins and that's the heart I've got so they call me Casanova for the way I act thinking that I'm Mikey Vane but they don't know me or so many people leaning on me for support every muscle in me is highly strained and I need attraction is a distraction so until my walk is done Casanova's a likely name yo me mind keeps sweating me asking who's made a name I'm changing and if I'll ever be engaging the queen I said, my, you know I only ever mean what I say So when I say this, you know I'm saying what I mean As strange as it seems, our lives are like movies Soon to be played on the screen So every time a floozy acts up with dramatics or crack up And she gets estranged from the scene I'll take her back a couple of years See me in my daily routine On a train to a long day slave and machines With nothing but a pocket full of change And a dream I was built to lose But winning is a rave than my jeans I told Daz when 05 in no time I will be acclaimed and esteemed I'm a well ahead of schedule So tonight is blazing the green Champagne and Asian cuisine F64, shout out to MTOTV Yeah boy